Hey, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this divinely led message for Aoki. Is it Aoki? I'm going to say Aoki Simmons. Um, I was going to do this reading yesterday, y'all, but jet lag kicked my ass. <laughs> this reading is a legend and for entertainment purposes. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So my question, and, and I didn't even ask a question. So this is what Spirit wants me to know. And then I'm going to ask a question, okay? Because I know that she's been in um, the forefront lately about a relationship with an older man. Um, and so let's just see what energy wants me to know, share, uh, moving in, love and light. Again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. So Spirit is acknowledging right off the back that there is something in her energy field that's just putting a bad taste in her mouth. Her face is very scrunched. There's something that she is... Um, combating there's also something that she is resisting so there is an obstacle it feels i do see red which also lets me know that there is an energy of her needing to get grounded her root chakra could be unbalanced at this time okay so when life gives you lemons uh make lemonade be optimistic persevere seek opportunity be creative and even tap into your geniusness within the situation and it has to do with her relationship because i do see the wilted flower here flowers remind me of love roses remind me of love and so it's wilted which makes me feel like love is lost i also see blue so there's going to be com communication about this just not working out this coming up short short just not being able to uh hit the mark spirit is saying missing the mark okay uh spirit is also acknowledging that this is putting a bad taste in her mouth because overall there's an energy of arrogance vanity self-importance being high and mighty modesty is needed modesty modesty hmm that's interesting um but spirit is also acknowledging that this situation is going to make her feel very lazy very loafing um inertia false start no response she is protected by spirit i feel like trees represent ancestry to me that is my download i don't know if you guys feel the same but it is just something that um, over the years, it just makes sense to me. I don't know what it is. There's a connection and it's always like very loud for me. Um, but anyway, so she's leaning on spirit. I do see black. Black represents protection again to me um and so there's this lazing around around this situation now i will not lie this is also a pregnancy card for me but it doesn't necessarily mean that she is going to get pregnant or it could um this is just the energy that is 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 um being downloaded within this card okay the context of this card again is that she's just lazing around all right um and there's going to be communication around this situation i do see the heart chakra being affected here i also see trees again so spirit is intervening um but this has to do with communication there's some type of honesty there's some type of Revelation. There's some type of truth. Um, this could be through a phone text, a phone text, a phone call, a text, um, but it's surprising news. It's something that people weren't expecting, okay? Moving in love and light. And Spirit is also acknowledging that there's an energy of her also in the middle of the deck being very bothered right now, angry, yelling, crying out, um, just being very boisterous and boisterous around a situation. I do see Spirit is there, but she's angry with the universe, angry with Spirit, angry with Source, angry, um, you know, in totality. And this is because she feels like there's people barking up the wrong tree. She herself could be as well, Aoki. Um, and there's a lack of clarity and there's perspective shift that is needed, okay? So let's get into this relationship with her boyfriend. Um, this older gentleman. Okay, so sorry. I should have did this before. I forgot his name, y'all. And I should have said it. I should have looked it up. Okay, so his name is Vittorio Asaf. And that's crazy because I don't know if there's any Islamic energy um, connected to him. I don't know if he is Muslim or not. But when it said modesty is needed, remember I said modesty is needed. Modesty is needed. That's ringing a bell. I don't know if he has any Islamic faith. But, you know, a lot oftentimes uh, Muslim women um, are very modest. And, I, and this might be the connection. But again, his name is... Vittorio, Vittorio, is that his name? Vittorio. Okay, so let's get into it. Aoki and Vittorio, current energy. Okay, it's a lot. All right, so Spirit is acknowledging that when it comes to Aoki, this is the path that you chose, okay? So whatever you put in your red wagon, you got to pull in your red wagon. Enjoy the journey. It is windy. It is twisty because this is not a part of your purpose. This is not a part of your um, destined path. You are off of your path of righteousness per se, okay? So just enjoy it because eventually this, I mean, the lessons learned are always going to be gems, right? You either learn or, or you, what do they say? This is, um, you don't lose. Hey. You yeah, what is it? What is the saying? Something like, yeah, you either win or you learn. Okay, 
So either way, it's a win-win. Um, but moving forward, so, but again, this situation is putting a bad taste in her mouth. This is why the car comes up again. She needs to get grounded around this situation. She's trying to make lemonade out of lemons, which is a little interesting to me because what is the fight to be together? What is this energy? Um, not my business, not my problem, but Spirit is also acknowledging that this is an energy of a nuisance, provocation, gossip, lots of gossip, hassle, freeloading, and an opportunism. Opportunist. Opportunism and opportunist. Okay. And so this card always makes me feel like someone in a lower lying state in a southern state. Now, the, uh, the cards also flipped out like this. So there's some other things that we can't see. Um, again, we have this inertia, false start, um, loafing, no response, disinterest, leading on spirit. And again, this has a layered meaning for me, this card. It could just literally mean someone is fatigued and tired and done with it, like just fucking exhausted. But this is also um, an energy of pregnancy for me. Um, so we'll see, you know, like I always say, now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does. This energy has her very stalled, looking at her reflection, asking herself, how did I get here? Why am I here? What am I doing here? Taking accountability and responsibility. I do see water letting me know that this is emotional for her, but this is also, um, again, could be a water sign. I see mountains in the background just letting me know that they're there's ups and downs as in life, okay? So nobody leaves a sucker unscathed. You're going to get the bumps and the bruises, but you're also going to get the the love and you're also going to get luck and you're also going to win. You know what I'm saying? Win or learn again. Um, but Spirit said it's a treasured objective in this whole situation and she is getting assistance, but she needs to learn something why she is standing still, why she is observing, why she is contemplating. Why did I get here? How did I get myself in this situation? Spirit is also acknowledging that there's this energy of earth sign. Um, if she learns this lesson, because this is what Spirit is saying loud and clear. If you learn the lesson, you will be feeling very cozy, relaxing in good times, very um, settled. Uh, earth signs are nonconformist to me. They don't play. You know what I mean? This is what it is. Okay, so... That's the energy that she'll have if she learns, if she gains the information from this situation. Um, but we all have choices, okay? And so, you know, I always say we're in a realm of choice. It does feel like this relationship is not a part of her righteous path, that there is a lesson that's going to be learned, which lets me know that this is like karmic energy. These are, these are um, um, cross star lovers, okay? Not written in the stars. Okay, so Aoki, there's some Scorpio energy. Water sign comes up again. Um, emotional. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, he's lying. Okay, so you're believing him, but he's lying. He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. But there's also some fire energy. There's some passionate energy. There's some energy of someone being very um, in the forefront, very leading, very determined, very dominant. And maybe she likes that. Maybe she likes that. Um, Spirit is acknowledging that there's some character Characteristics that he has that her father has and so this is a very interesting concept I don't know if it's true or not but people always say women marry their fathers or characteristics that their fathers have because that is what they were presented with in life but it's not always true but in this setting in this format in this reading it does feel like there's some characteristics that he has that she's kind of like mm, I like that strong you know forefront kind of uh, business kind of mentality that my father had or has okay moving forward Aoki Lee. Is it Lee? I don't know, y'all. Aoki Simmons. What's the family time so there's an energy of her spending time with family could be near the water again we see water very emotional and or could just be a water sign but there's a lot of her family time um she's riding out the waves around spending time with family now this could be a you know in connection with vittorio uh, because she's riding out the waves while they're spending time together or the family um has some kind of you know feel some kind of way or the family feels some kind of way about the situation and she's riding out the waves again there's a lot of water it's very emotional for her okay um and in the middle of the deck it says that she's in her feelings um she's money hungry and do will anything will do anything for money and she's fulfilling a fantasy right now and this is interesting because i did overhear someone saying like um i forgot what, what clip i watched but it had something to do with her talking to her father about getting a sugar daddy if he didn't um give her her monthly allowance or increase her monthly allowance child so um this is quite kind of interesting that the cards came out like this that she's in her feelings um and that she's money hungry and do, will, will do anything for money and that right now she's just fulfilling a fantasy okay okay child all right so spirit wants me to ask another question in regards to that i'm gonna 
let this card say what it needs to say. There's some instability in their relationship. Somebody is unstable. Uh, Spirit says, what's going on with Aoki? It seems like she's off a little bit. Okay. There is some investigating and looking into it. And people are looking into this love story, this once upon a time energy that she has. Uh, there is going to be a fake apology because someone is wearing a mask. Someone's going to have to apologize about hurting the other. And this hurting or doing something has to deal with someone doing more than what they say they were doing. Say they're working out. Not really. They peeping somebody else on the side. Okay. So staying long hours and doing more than working out. Um, meeting someone at a gym and or meeting someone else. Else, okay, so there's going to be an apology. Um, there's some investigating into her relationship, and that makes sense because a lot of people are like, Girl, what is you doing? What is you doing? All right, so Aoki and Victoria. This is an unexpected union, or not union, but, you know, a coming together as a, of a couple. <laughs> unexpected union, okay? Uh, subconsciously, someone is leveling up, and in the middle of the deck, um, they are seen as a power couple in the middle of the deck. One or both of them sees themselves as a power couple. She might see it, or he might see it, but they're like, yeah, we're a power couple. But it's, it's unexpected. It was unexpected, and Spirit is also acknowledging that there's some leveling up here as well. Now, Spirit also wants me to acknowledge that... Um, there's some things that they do in a relationship that could catch people off guard and be like, wait, say what? What you into? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, 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 okay, let me say this. Spirit is acknowledging that, and again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes, but there's some things that they enjoy doing, um, with others and or incorporating in their, uh, fun time. There's some things that they like to do. <laughs> and not my business, okay? Hey, Yoki, how does she move in love and light? Thank you, ancestors. Yeah. Okay, again, we see water. Water has been very consistent in this reading. Um... So it's emotional for her right now and her life's journey. It does look like a journey because somebody has a backpack on and they're just figuring out which way to move next. Which which way do I go? How do I get on my righteous path? You see the path? There's an energy of solitude letting me know that she might be going through a spiritual enlightenment as we move forward in love and light. Um, there are mountains again. Third time we see mountains. So she needs to just understand that this is the part of the plan. This is a part of the universe. You have to go through these obstacles. You win and or you learn. Okay? Again, water. Um, I see a lot of green letting me know this has to do with the heart chakra it is affecting her heart chakra so the the focus on this card is live your life with ease revert inward for relief revert inward look inward again take accountability and responsibility and ask yourself those you know deeper level questions how did i get here and what do i do to you know help myself get out of a situation that is creating some form of obstacle remember we kept seeing that card um that when life gives you lemons so there's something that she's dealing with that is very sour um, so there are moments in life where being inactive will prove to be an obligation. You will have to step away in order to see the vividly take this time to purge and make something beautiful of your sight face your demons head on dead everything that needs to be deaded if everything should go then go say farewell to the old god speed sending her love and light so it's just again sort of just encouraging her and nudging her to make better choices to make the right choice to acknowledge that this isn't her righteous path where is she is the spirit is saying where are you where are you what are you doing um, okay, so Aoki, what's going on? Current energy, Aoki Simmons. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit is acknowledging that she's seeking security right now with the King of Pentacles, okay? Um, that she is seeking security through a mature, grounded man who is very successful, has a wealthy business. Um, she's trying to better herself and not be a risk taker, but she also wants a part of this empire, 
she feels like she has high status and that she's thriving well, um, in connection to this energy, that this person is stable and secure and has a huge enterprise, okay? Hmm. Subconsciously, spirit is acknowledging that there is an energy of defeat, okay? We have Aquarius energy here, and spirit is acknowledging that there's an energy of thinking, thinking, thinking. With the Five of Swords, she feels defeated. She understands that she is going to have to surrender and walk away from him, walk away from the situation through some form of self-sacrifice. Um, there's deception here, and there's also a lack of communication. Second time we hear about deception, so she needs to be crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Spirit says she she's crazy? I'm sorry to say she needs to be careful. Don't do it. All right. In the middle of the deck, she is trying to make some investments around this energy. So things come into fruition. She is trying to plant some seeds and, and reap a beneficial harvest. Um, so she is trying to work hard. There is something that she's trying to manifest when it comes to his energy, him being Vittorio. Is that how you say his name? So she's being very patient and she's planning. But all in all, and Spirit keeps saying this, the cards keep saying this, she is going to deal with heartbreak. Okay. Heartbreak. Ho. Oh. Till this is the heartbreak. Yep, with the three of swords, it's heartbreak, betrayal. Third time we hear betrayal. Loneliness, absence, sadness, heartache, unhappiness, confusion. If he has children, they are about to, you know, definitely deep dive into this. Saying some things or doing some things to make them feel ashamed about their relationship. There's going to be a lot of push and pull from others in their, you know, in their business, in their relationship. Okay, a lot of confusion and alienation. Um, someone even has some ill health right now. And then we have this card. Now, my pregnancy card came out twice and I said, hey, I don't know. I don't know. But then we have this card that comes out again, and this is the Empress. And so this does have an energy of pregnancy, fertility, motherhood. Now, this could be a female who is a mother who is coming through to help disturb, disrupt this relationship that she has with Vittorio. But this could also be acknowledging that she herself could be bringing forth a child, um, this is a very open arms kind of energy, harmonious, femininity, um, continued growth, okay? So sending her love and light. Oh, Spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck. Let's see. Uh, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, there's an energy of her feeling like she's got some missed opportunities, wasted time. Um, there's also an energy of infertility and hesitant on this card as well. So wanting things to work, but then they just don't work. Wanting this manifesting to come to um, a fruition, and then it just doesn't. It does not become, it doesn't come out of the mind and and become tangible. Did that make sense? In her hands. So that's an interesting concept right here. Sending her love and light. All right. What's next for Aoki? Outpouring. Lots of emotion again. Cup runneth over. New beginnings. New relationships. New romance. So it keeps saying that this relationship will, will end at some point. Sending her love and light. But there is an energy of conception, fertility, pregnancy, celebrations. You see how it just keeps coming up? It just keeps coming up. So sending her love and light around that situation. Uh, Spirit is saying with the emperor. So some breakup with the emperor. But there's also this energy of manifestation and or pregnancy around him as well. He is very stable. He is very structured. He has authority. He's fearless. He's focused. He's determined. He's disciplined. He's logic. He's an older man, father, father figure. You see what I'm saying? And these are also some qualities that her father shares. Spirit just keeps giving me this down below. Like these are things that her father kind of shares characteristics as well. Um, and Spirit is acknowledging that there is an energy of her holding on to him and or um, the money because there's this hoarding kind of energy, this stingy kind of energy, this financial stability. Greed and materialism sending her love and light. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.